Hey everyone, welcome to On the Rocks. I'm your trail guide, Claudia Faust. Every week I'll take you on a new adventure as I check hikes, waterfalls, and other outdoor activities off of my Arizona bucket list. Today we're hiking the Horton Creek Trail. Horton Creek Trail is in Payson, Arizona. It's an 8.6 mile trail with almost 2,500 feet of elevation gain. It's 95 degrees in Phoenix today, and as you can tell, I'm clearly not in Phoenix. It's 73 degrees here in the Payson area outside of Coles Ranch. I'm super excited for this long hike. I've heard great things. Now let's go. As you can see, I was pretty excited for this massive temperature change and all the shade. You just can't get hikes like this in the valley, but Payson is the perfect day trip. There were lots of signs early on in the trail for fishing regulations, but I actually didn't see any that day. The real stars of the trail are the tall, beautiful trees and, of course, the creek. The water was very cold, which made the overall temperature on the trail very comfortable. There was such a wide variety of plants along the trail, too, ones you wouldn't see in the desert like purple lupine. There were also many beautiful birds, and you could always hear them chirping along the trail for the entirety of the trek. About a mile in and still have the jacket on. Here's a better look at the stature of these trees. This is one way to feel very, very small. The trail was extremely easy to follow, which is great because you probably will have zero cell phone signal out there. It's the perfect way to unplug. The first 45 minutes of this hike, I actually worried that we weren't on the correct trail because it was so smooth and steady, but we're finally getting a little bit of incline. This trail was way less strenuous than I expected it would be. However, I will say the following day, I realized the incline was very gradual because my calves did burn 24 hours later. There was so much to admire and taking the time to take it all in is a great way to set a pace. Here we have the first real sense of elevation gain. I would say the most enjoyable moments were the ones spent in the water, but it's so calming to hear the sound of running water, even if you can't see it. Eventually we do get right back to the creek. Here there was a wide open area to really play around and cool down. I also recommend waterproof boots or hiking sandals so you can enjoy Horton Creek to the fullest. Now back to the trail. The overall theme of this hike is green. So much green everywhere. And once you reach higher elevation, you get peaks at, well, the peaks. The signage was also very helpful. To see the spring itself, you have to cross the bridge and take a left. But first we went right to admire all the small waterfalls and beautiful moss covered rocks. I've never watched Lord of the Rings, I'm more of a Harry Potter and Game of Thrones kind of girl, but I imagine it looks something like this. And there's the spring. Right by the spring, there's a perfect place that someone clearly had a campfire, so we're stopping to eat now. In my opinion, packing a lunch on this hike is a must. Really anything over five miles, I make sure to pack a meal, although I always have snacks. We also spotted this little guy in the middle of the trail, but he took refuge under a log pretty quickly. That's a western coral snake, and yes, they're venomous, so we kept a safe distance, even though they're known to be pretty docile. And almost eight and a half miles later, we're done. The trail took exactly three and a half hours to complete, and that was with lunch up by the springs, which was really enjoyable. This is definitely a great escape from the heat. It's entirely shaded, and I actually don't think the hike is too difficult as long as you don't mind the length. So I hope to see you out here on the rocks.